Hello everybody, it's 123 Stealth Bomber here, bringing you another tutorial on the Assault Squad Editor. Today I'm going to show you how to script air attacks. Scripting air attacks is very easy in learning, uh, since this video is not as long as my previous video. Now, uh, I'm sorry I haven't um, made a video in a while. My fraps was not working correctly for some odd reason, but I got it to work. It was actually because I was running out of disk space, um, and because of all my previous videos, I saved them all. But it's, it's all good now, so I should be posting more regularly. Um, so yeah, it's so we my scenario that we're going to be setting up for today is we're going to have a Russian IL-2 Sturmovik attack a small German convoy that's just going to be sitting there. Uh, so again, scripting air attacks is very easy. So what we got to do first is we got to have, obviously you got to spawn the plane and spawn the guy. So if you haven't done that already, go and do so. And what I'm doing now is you got to put the guys inside the plane before you're putting it up into the air. So you make sure you do that as well. Uh, some planes take only one person and some take two. And the IL-2, for example, does take two. Okay. Next, what we want to do is we want to switch to F3 and you want to select it and give it its tags. Um, I've said this many times or over and over um, to give unit tags. So all we have to do is just give it two simple tags. One is use something you name up and the other one is the hidden tag. Okay. Now, while you have it selected, once you do that, once you have it selected, where it's on the right side where it says chassis and then current, it's going to say wheel. You want to change that from wheel to airborne. Now notice when you switch it to airborne, it sinks into the ground, but don't worry. And where it says altitude, you want to change that to a number, uh, you know, other than zero. Fif I would recommend at least 15 or higher, and I've already gone over this many, many times, so uh, I'm not going to really go into too much detail. If you go 15 or lower, it has the, it might have the danger of hitting other buildings. So I would recommend 15 or higher. And you'll notice that it's in the air. It's you hear the the plane, of, you know, the sound of the plane, but it's not moving, obviously. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is we gotta set up the waypoints. So, go ahead and add the set of waypoints that we need to set up. So I'm gonna start it off coming out of the side of the map, and I'm just gonna set like a straight path, one leading right through the convoy, and then it's gonna go keep going straight out to the other end of the map. And then I'm going to set up a small command just to delete it once it reaches that waypoint, that last waypoint. Okay, now that waypoint I just selected, number three, in my case, this is the waypoint that we're going to script to make it attack. So we're going to have the aircraft attack the waypoint, but it's going to release the bombs or the rockets, and it's going to hit the convoy because we, we put the, um, the waypoint right next to them. Okay. Okay, so when you're satisfied with your waypoints, you want to head over to triggers. And very simple. All you need is one simple um, trigger. And within the trigger, all you need is three simple commands. You do not need any condition. Unless if you're stating like an event or a near condition. But in the case, this case, we're not. So all you need is commands. And our first command is after the waypoint. Um, you're going to go to, w once you get back to the way waypoint, you're going to go to where it says selector and expand that box. And then we'll go to where it says tag. And give it the tag that you named it. So in my case, it was IL-2. Um, the waypoint will be the starting waypoint that you want it to start at. Um, and then the approach. I select off teleport and rotate. So it teleports the, the waypoint zero and it rotates in the right direction it needs to go in. Now, make sure you do not check off clone because there will be like a bunch of them. They spawn inside of each other. So do not do that, just so you know. If you're going to do a clone, make sure you add in uh, a delay between each other. Okay. So now our next command is our air state. So you're going to go to your selector and expand that box and go to where it says tag. And give it the same exact tag that you did for the act of the waypoint. And then for the altitude, you want to put the same altitude that you put... Um, earlier on or you can change the number it does not matter and all so really quickly those uh, uh, two commands right here are just saying it'll make the aircraft move and it keeps it up in the air that's all it's saying simple enough and then our final command is air attack so that's the one that we have not used before and now it, it looks kind of complicated but it's not that complicated go to where it says selector and expand that box and go to the tag Give it the exact same tag that you gave it for the air state and after the waypoint. 
now uh, don't worry about drop and then now enemies now in this case we're just going to make it attack a waypoint where it says at the bottom but you can in fact make it attack enemies individually when if i am going to expand it in just a moment here you can say give the enemy some tags or you can state the player that they're on so when the aircraft is moving through the air it might actually fire its weapons according to the enemy that are near it now sometimes this doesn't work so that's why i don't i'm not teaching you how to make it fire individual enemies i might make a video on how to like do air battles but that's for something you know something later on um now for count you want to keep that at one but that's just saying how many times it's going to uh, fire its weapons okay um and then move from back and force placement you want to both check those off and it's just saying it's going to make it start at the starting waypoint because sometimes it doesn't like to i don't know why it just doesn't like to so make sure you check those both off and random weapon if it has if the aircraft has multiple weapons it will use a random one so we're going to check this one off because we always want it to use one specific weapon we have selected. And I'll get into more detail in about that in a minute. Uh, the waypoint will be the starting waypoint you started at. So kind of like the act of the waypoint. And then now, um, what I'm doing is where it says waypoint to attack. That's the waypoint that it's going to attack physically. Um, so yeah, it was waypoint 3 in my case. And then the attack altitude, we want to put that about to 15 or so and that's it kind of like swoops in when it gets near the waypoint it kind of like goes down a few feet to that uh, specific altitude that you put in while it's attacking and that's what the attack altitude does okay so you're all set you can hit okay and start it up so now we're gonna watch it i'm gonna test this multiple times to show you how to change up weapons in just a moment but first how it works so yes that went very quickly but you did see the rockets fire and it hit the convoy perfectly and made pretty much and destroyed everything that was there and that was a perfect hit right there okay and it kept moving along the waypoint and it went to the other side of the map and as you saw the rockets are not very accurate um, so I would always suggest using them if you're trying to get a, an accurate hit so just so you know Okay, now if now I want to show you how to switch weapons. Now to switch weapons, you got to actually select the aircraft in F1 mode, and you'll notice when you at the bottom when you have a unit selected, this aircraft, the IL-2, has three weapons: the 20 millimeter machine guns, bombs, and rockets. If you want to change the weapon, you literally have to physically select it. So as you just saw, I selected the bombs. Now it's now it's going to use a bomb instead of rockets. So now it's going to go overhead. Oh, you can see, you can see the bomb drop down. And it also just did tremen tremendous damage there as well. Um, now, also, I'm going to show you really quick. Now, the waypoint's back over here, but the bomb explosion was kind of like ahead of it. Why is that? Well, again, it's not completely accurate. Um, it just that just how it works if you want to make it more accurate you have to change the radius and now i'm about to show you that right now you'll notice the blue circle that is the radius and when you select the waypoint uh you change this number that where my cursor is let's say we put it to 50 you'll notice that the circle is now a lot smaller and that's a radius of 50. i don't know what the actual unit measure is but i'm gonna guess like 50 inches or so i don't know but that's 50 it's a lot small and it means it'll probably make the shot more accurate and now i'm going to test this one more time but now i'm i sh used the um, the machine guns i don't think it's going to do tremendous damage but we'll see what goes on well it didn't kill any of the vehicles but it definitely it mowed down the infantry so i guess the machine guns those would be definitely useful for like strafing runs against infantry it did damage the vehicles but didn't really actually kill any of them they can't be repaired so yeah that's really mainly it um so guys i hope you guys enjoyed my video liked it favored it subscribe if you already haven't already if you have any questions comments or concerns regarding this video or disregarding this video please leave a comment down below or on my channel or even my Facebook and check the channel, my channel for more info. Um, uh, so yeah, this is really cool. Like 
I always wanted to show this for a while now. So more videos are coming, and as well as I was talking about my custom mission, I'm going to hold off on that a little bit more because it's going to take us a little bit longer than expected. So I'll have more videos coming very soon. All right, so see you later.